Hello everyone, it's Rad from Radko Tarot and in this whole video uh, we are going to have a look at the experiences in terms of career and relationship that your star sign is going to have throughout the upcoming week, uh, August 10th to uh, August 16th, 2020. <clears throat> and you are into Tarot, probably you do know that Tarot is divided by a major and minor arcana and arcana means knowledge, so anybody can learn um, to, to read Tarot. And uh, if you like the way I read and you want to learn it from me, uh, you can purchase the 12 hours tarot class uh, that uh, I'm offering. And in this class, uh, you are going to be introduced to a four card, very special to me spread because I do use it uh, in almost all of my professional uh, readings because it's amazing. <clears throat> and it's also a uh, major arcana friendly, meaning that you can use just only the uh, the major arcanas with it. Uh, so that spread, uh, that what comes with it, it is the explanation of all the major arcana in terms of all of the positions of the spread and in terms of career and relationship. So pretty much you do have it uh, all covered there. And on top of that, at the end of the class, uh, you are gonna get as well a one hour one-on-one -on -one class with me just so I can make sure that uh, you uh, digested all of the information and you are set to do your own personal and hopefully private readings. The links to the, the <clears throat> I'm sorry, the link to the class is uh, listed down below as well as a link to my website in case you do want to uh, purchase a, a personal uh, reading with me. So that being said, lay back and uh, enjoy the show. So, uh, we have a Virgo Sun Moon and uh, Rising as well in our hands, guys, uh, for this weekly reading. And the first thing that uh, we're going to have a look at uh, is going to be your relationship life. So let me, uh, let me shuffle and see what you got. So the first one uh, that stands uh, here is going to be the uh, Knight of Wands. Uh, moving next, we do have the King of Cups, uh, followed by the Ace of Wands. And uh, the last one here that we do have is going to be the Five of Wands. <laughs> um, so the week... In term of uh, in term of love for you, Virgo will revolve more around the passion and excitement rather than the sense of security that you may usually would uh, would like to have when you are interacting with either your person of interest or either uh, with uh, someone that you already are with. So the week itself here is going to predispose. Um, you uh, uh, and your love interest, regardless who that is, uh, toward a more gainingful enterprises. But those gainingful enterprises are to be uh, more on the unknown side rather than on the already established patterns that you have made being used to, uh, to walk through. So that being said, you can expect uh, a lot of, well, certain extent of confusion. Uh, if I may say it that way, and that confusion will relate to how exactly, you know, you should make the best out of that enterprise which is in front of you, which could be, of course, a date, which could be a hangout, uh, or which could be a holiday, or, or anything that comes up into your mind in regards to how to spend a good time with your beloved one or uh, with your person of interest. Uh, another thing that may happen as a problem throughout the week as well. It is a biased belief into the doom and gloom that whatever enterprise you want to present, it's not going to be taken with a, uh, with a positive impression, uh, nor is going to be taken under consideration. And that's uh, not entirely true because the week itself at the end is going to end up in a very, very dynamic state. Uh, five of Wands that we do have at the end of the reading for you in terms of love and relationship. It's an awesome card because, first of all, it does point at that, how can I say, uh, bad things or bad relationships 
or relationships that are rocky and on the edge, they definitely can mend because uh, the five of uh, wands is one of the cards uh, that uh, pretty much allows you to reverse a failure into success. And additionally to that, it, um, it offers you a lot of uh, positive enterprise, uh, not positive enterprises, but a positive surprises, I'm sorry, that are to come uh, your way. And that's why it's important throughout the week itself in terms of love and relationship, not to have any biased expectations. What will happen if you contact your beloved one, you know, or if you ask out somebody that you are uh, interested in. Uh, another thing that we do have in the reading itself, uh, that is to be the King of Cups into the second position of the spread. And that's not exactly a good card there. And uh, pretty much points to offers. Or it kind of likes it, an explanations. Explanation in love that unfortunately may not be entirely sincere. I, now, that is not because the person wants to lie to you, but because the person alone, it is not uh, aware of their true emotions and true feelings. And for that reason, you should rely throughout the week more toward the passion and the adventurous spirit in terms of love and relationship rather than to the uh, emotional commitment. And that pretty much corresponds very well with the Leo topic as we are in a Leo season. Uh, those which are single don't lean toward a um, strong commitment throughout the week as once again, um, it's pretty much it will be uncertain what kind of emotional state the person that you may be involved with is going to be. And if you are a looking for love, unfortunately, this week, it's not going to offer you much on that front, but what is to offer you more, it's excitement once again and passion perfect week for establishing friends with benefits type of relationship, perfect week for a one night stands. But if you are not up to it, you can definitely skip the opportunities. So that being said, this was your uh, love uh, and relationship tarot reading for the week. Now let's uh, just give me a second here. Let's shuffle the cards once again and see what you're going to have in terms of a uh, career. Alright, so uh, the first card in terms of career is going to be the Two of Wands. Uh, moving next, we do have the King of Cups once again, uh, followed by the King of Wands. And the last one here is going to be the Emperor. Pretty much the, the same theme. Okay, pretty much it is the theme where you have to be driven by your passion. And in this particular case, your ambition. So how pretty much stands it is that you're going to have something like a two roads that you will have to make up your mind which one you are going to go with. And those two roads are pretty much going to be open to you by a two individuals. Um, that could be two propositions for a uh, for a jobs or two projects or pretty much a two a two plans that you can undertake moving forward. Now, one of the plans or one of the jobs or one of the other projects, etc., is going to be uh, for what it seems very well established and for what it seems very structured, while the other, it will be more on the, once again, the unknown side. And uh, the very topic of the week itself for you, that is Virgo, it's not about um, dwelling yourself on the already established patterns, but what you need to understand throughout the week is that you, while you do have a rather good achievements thus far, you also need to aim to improve on those achievements and dwelling on the own already existing patterns will never allow you to improve on yourself. You pretty much are in a repetition of the same thing over and over again. So here you will have to actually go with the one that fuels your ambition. 
and by fueling your ambition, uh, that person as well will help you to understand how to transform that ambition into a very powerful actions. Now, how effective those actions are going to be? Well, that depends entirely on your skill and how determined you are to improve on the skill and the knowledge that you uh, that you already have. Uh, additionally to that, if you are once again uh, prone to believe in the doom and gloom and that your ambition for having a good job or for to be successful CEO one day or whatever, you know, uh, it's um, it's there and you believe that that will never happen. Now, this person will maintain your positive outlook and it will help you to believe within yourself. So in other words, it's gonna boost you, uh, it's gonna boost your self-esteem moving forward. And how the week ends uh, is uh, here with the Emperor pretty much. And the Emperor points that you are gonna pick up yourself together if you haven't by that time. And uh, you are to establish um, responsibilities, which is different from a priorities, okay? So you're going to establish a responsibilities in a pretty, in a pretty uh, structural fashion that will allow you to pretty much undertake everything that you do find substantial for your future growth in term of career. And, addition, and, and additionally to that, uh, you will be able to clear as well a lot of uh, room and space for yourself and that uh, for yourself, to have time for yourself, right? And that itself, will help you to face the ups and downs of the daily routines in terms of career with much more uh, with much more ease. Um, those that are a jobless uh, and they are seeking for an employment with those cards, uh, I would suggest you here, but, but just the, uh, uh, the energy of the cards, it is that you should keep on seeking the job that you want to work, although throughout the week you may receive an, an offer to start something that, you, that is going to stabilize your life but it's it's not going to be anything special so you gotta even if you have to take this uh, this job of uh, of stability you should not settle for it but still keep on searching for the one that is to support your ambition and by the end of the week you should have a pretty clear vision of when how and if you are to get the job and under what kind of these circumstances so that being said, Virgo, this was your A Weekly Tarot Readings. Uh, hopefully, guys, you do enjoy it and you do like it. And uh, with that being said, we are to see each other next time. Until then, bye.